Hello guys and welcome to my new video. So today I decided to do a setup guide for my Holy Paladin UI. So this, um, below this video is going to be a description. In the description there's going to be links to specific WeCores that I used to the specific Elf UI. So you kind of have to have Elf LV UI to actually have the same look and feel. So there's going to be Elf UI profile included and there's going to be Grid 2 profile included if you actually do use grid 2 this might be helpful it might not be and um, first i'd like to mention the we core here that's actually everything shown up it's not my we core it's actually holy paladin version 2 made by artlu all the credit goes to hi uh, him or her this is really this is the we core that i actually picked out to use i think it's really really good because i feel that uh, holy paladins rely a lot on cooldowns and uh, seeing cooldowns that are available easily is one of the most important parts for me for playing my holy paladin uh, so what i did with this week is basically disable some of the aspects moved some of the things to actually fit in in the way i like so if you when you want to copy it it's going to be available in a paste bin so just the first things how it actually looks like uh, you can see the cooldowns that are available popping uh, aura will show you how long it lasts on your bars you see for three seconds two seconds this is order of sacrifice so this is how long the order of sacrifice is active and it shows up on your mouse and when you go to your grid, you can actually see exactly how long it's going to be active. So that's actually pretty neat. Here's Deliverance. I'm just popping all my cooldowns basically just to see how they actually look like. So you can see here after the cooldowns actually disappeared. And they'll show up in kind of like a, a digital form, a digit format. Which I think is pretty nice as well. And um, when you attack, you can see the cooldowns for everything. All the spells are here. It shows up the stack if you actually use it, Judgment of Light. Uh, judgment of light talents it shows up how many stacks he has which is again really really nice um, if you are in combat if you are in combat and you're in party it'll actually show up if you're missing your beacon uh, targets as well so this week, week or i feel is really really good as well so besides that i actually have another week or that I imported it's called tal's paladin buffs large and um, i again added added a few more spells to be added uh, i added more spells to be tracked but basically what it does every time you use one of these big cooldowns it'll show up on the right hand corner and you, you can kind of see exactly what's going on because like i said cooldown management is huge with paladins and i wanted to add that extra thing so again tal uh, tal all credit goes to you for uh, this really really nice week order. so this covers the week that you have right now uh, there's probably going to be some screen or some video of how the UI looks in a uh, raid scenario. Um, but now you can see the Elf UI. This is my Elf UI profile. I kind of uh, lowered it so uh, it can actually fit in with the Wii chorus down here because, again, Paladins have a lot of uh, buffs to give out. So you need to kind of keep track of all of them, things like Bubble and, and uh, Freedom. So these abilities are actually below the bar themselves. And again, now let's move on to grid 2. So you can see grid 2 actually shows up my forbearance. Um, it shows up when I have a beacon available or when the target has beacon on it. It shows up when I use tears deliverance. It shows up the hot that's actually placed on the target. Um, if you actually swap out to use beacon of virtue, every time you uh, use beacon of virtue, it shows up at the top left hand corner just to know that these targets are being beacon basically or bacon. Uh, uh, besides that, I, it shows up all of your. I can't really use or of sacrifice right now. No, or of sacrifice, blessing of sacrifice right now. Um, but it shows up all the tank cooldowns as well. So that's the basic grid two profile, the weak chorus, and the LVI uh, profiles that are available with with basically what I've been using on my holy paladin, and I think it's it's actually working out really well for me. Let me know what you think about this, and it's going to go. Now I'm going to transition to actually how to actually install it. We'll start off with actually LVI. So you have to install LVI from their uh, website, which is supposed to be back up at this time. I know they had a hack attempt, but it should be fine at this time. So you should see something like this. So keep in mind that my absorb tags, aura power movers, micro power management, and visual aura timers are plugins. So you might not have these. If you want to have these, just install what you see right now. So I'm actually going to enable all of these for the time being and i'm going to click reload ui so this is what you're going to be seeing when you actually install lv ui for the first time you also see key binds and um, i'm going to skip this process because i don't need to actually configure this i'm just going to go to 
LB, uh, escape LBY, go to profiles, and hopefully you can see this, um, and import profile. Now, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to go to the paste bin. So, there's going to be a this, there's going to be a description below this video. Just click expand and go into the into the Holy Paladin LBY profile. It'll show up something like this. You click on this, control A, control C. Uh, so you're basically copying this. And now you control V to paste everything and you click import now. Uh, I'm going to name it Holy Paladin. Uh, or exist, choose a new name or accept over. Oh, so actually there is a profile already that I have accepted. Uh, so I'm just going to name it Holy Paladin new. And now you can see that my LUI is something, something like I uh, showed at the very start of the video. So now what you have left to do is grid and weak chorus. So you have to have add on weak chorus installed. Um, I'm going to enable all of these for the time being. Um, and you do the same thing again. You're gonna have to do this actually uh, twice to install the two weak chorus that uh, I've gotten. Like I mentioned before, it was Holy Paladin version from Artlu and uh, Tal's uh, Paladin buffs large. They're all found on Wago, and there's a link in the description to them to the original weak chorus, and there's a link in the description to the weak chorus that I've edited and that I've included. So you do the same thing here. You'll go to the paste bin, Holy Paladin uh, version two, mod edit. Uh, <coughs> and you can see here already actually the weak chorus already set up. Uh, but if you if you want to do it from again from the start, you just go to new, import, and you just paste it all. You paste it all and click import. And uh, I don't have to do this right now because it's already there, but you'll see something like this. You'll see this. You'll see that the styles are not exactly right, but we'll get back to that. We do the same things with uh, tiles buffs large which is basically um, actually it's going to be set up as well, again um, which is basically showing up buffs at the right side here so you can see here it's already there but again you just click on new you go to import and you paste the code and you click import here and that's it and that's your weak course installed you can see here if you pop your avenging rat or bubble in here my keybinds are completely messed up here so it doesn't matter but it shows up you see you see everything and um, you don't you don't see cooldowns and things like that, but before we're going to do that, we're going to go to grid because you're missing grid. Um, so we're just going to enable all these options, rate debuffs, and reload. And most likely, I'm going to have a, the grid 2 profile already installed on this uh, character. Let's just check it out. So I don't. So you can see here the grid 2 is not actually installed yet or grid 2 profile is not installed you type in exclamation uh, forward slash grid 2 to open up the menu you go to profiles and uh, advanced and uh, and you go to import profile i have this in a little while now uh, so again you go to paste bin on the holy paladin grid 2 profile you copy You copy all of the code here that's available. Um, and you go to import profile. And again, here, control V to actually import it. And you click accept. And you can see straight away <coughs> that the uh, grid 2 is here. So if I actually click beacon, it shows up on the bottom left hand corner. So we're basically done. So if you want the weak chorus to actually look like mine, or if you want to actually make them look a little bit different, there's a specific add-on called Mask, um, which basically just skins or applies a different texture to um, different modules of your game. So different add-ons, it actually applies different textures to things like LBUI or weak chorus or tell me when. Um, so if you don't want to have the default skin, which I think doesn't look that good, just enable mask, install it, and enable mask, and the skin that I actually use, you don't actually have to use the skin that I use, you can use any of these, like, I'll just enable these just to show you some of the specific skins that you can, but the one that I use, and the one that's actually uh, um, recommended by the person who actually made this week course, uh, clean UI mask skin, clean UI mask skin, so if you want to look at, uh, if you want your week course to look exactly like mine, 
uh, install this ma uh, mask skin. So once the game is loaded, you will be able to actually see that there's a default skin applied, which is Dream. So when you type in forward slash mask, and you go to add-ons, you go, to, you don't go to global. You go, you don't want to change your LVI. You just want to change a week or so. You go to week and you can see the skin that's being applied is Dream. I don't want a Dream. I want to show what clean UI pin, clean UI pin. Uh, check this out. So you see, I'll click on this and I'll click OK. So you see, done. You can see everything here. It's it looks nice and pretty. And if you want to change that, you can just go and check out different ones. I mean, there's there is some crazy weak orders. Like I mean, like this. Uh, I don't feel this is the best, but uh, if you want it, you can check it out and uh, do your build. But I prefer clean UI tin. I feel it works really well. And another big big uh, problem right now is that let's say you're going to be using. I actually don't have all the spells enabled here. So let's say you're going to be using not Aura Mastery. Um, let me enable some of the. I want Beacon of Virtue. So let's say you're going to be using Beacon of Virtue. You see here that it actually shows up on my grid, but it doesn't show up the cooldown. So this is a big, big, big issue. What you need to do is actually install another add on. Okay, so this, it's getting a bit complex, but you need to install another add on called Omni CC. Omni CC, Omni CC, and Omni CC config. So what Omni CC does, it basically adds a cooldown to everything in the game, all the like buttons and things like that, uh, specific weak auras, um, grid two profiles. Uh, so you'll be able to see now when I actually use my beacon of virtue, there's actually a cooldown of eight seconds. Oh, there's a, it's just the duration is eight seconds. So. This is one issue fixed. Now, another issue with grid two is that you might say, this does not look exactly how your grid two actually looks like. Um, the problem is that I use specific grid two fonts and uh, specific grid two fonts and textures that might not be av available uh, for you because the textures that I get come from other add-ons. So you think of it as there's, there's an add-on database that actually shares a lot of the way it shares the textures across so you might need to have a specific add-on that i have in order to get a skin that i use and um, just to show you how you need to change this you just go to indicators you go to health you go to layout and then you go to frame texture what i actually use the only the ones available is grid to flat um, but this is how you actually change the texture if you want to change the font and uh, you go to text down from what I remember. Yeah, it's including the name. You go to text down, you go to layouts, and then you will you should see actually the font is not even registered here. You should see you can change it to anything. Uh, so you can actually mess around and change these because in by importing grid to profile, you're not actually importing my textures or my font. So the grid two might look completely different, but you need to mess around with what's available for you. With what's available for you the fonts and the size of the font and the textures but the functionality is there the functionality is there if you actually swap around talents but the grid 2 will still be working it'll be still showing specific icons you just need to change the texture hopefully this was wasn't too convoluted it, it, it ended up being a quite a long video let me know if you have any issues with uh, the weak chorus with the grid 2 with the lui i've tested it on this character but let me know if you're having some other issues and I'll try my best to actually help you out. Thank you for watching this little uh, Holy Paladin UI setup and I'll see you next time.